On the agenda tonight, we're going to be discussing the fact that AI has been used to allow the Beatles to release their final song, Now and Then. <laughs> Hello, Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another video. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So I don't normally do these kinds of videos, discussion type videos, but I guess this is going to be a discussion forward slash explanation because I mean it is a special event anyway, the Beatles releasing their final song now and then on November 2nd if you're counting down the days. but. What I want to highlight and reference is the way that this has been made possible. Certainly the way that it was reported here in the UK and on the news and the report that I saw made it sound like they created John Lennon's voice with AI. But I felt compelled to make this video to explain exactly what's been done and the technology that's been used and the fact that what I saw on UK TV was totally misleading because they didn't actually explain or point out the process that has been conducted and gone through for it to be possible to release a new song. So, I mean, we're in a bit of a privileged position because when I tell you that the isolating process I apply to videos on my channel is the technology that's being used in this case, it means you understand what we're talking about. So when you apply AI to a recording, I mean, AI can be used in loads of different ways. It's all about what it's been instructed to do. And this particular AI has been instructed to try and distinguish between a human voice and instruments and be able to separate those up, even to the point where it can listen, listen, but it can determine what drums are, how those sound, because the sound is consistent across all drum kits. It learns the sound of drums so it can isolate that it, and, and the frequencies that are involved with that particular instrument. Same with guitar, it can then isolate that and same with the human voice, it can isolate that. So it means that you end up with just that instrument or just that voice. So relating it back to the Beatles, it means that with John Lennon's voice, they would have had a vocal of John Lennon's performing this song and possibly not even properly recording it, you know, like having headphones on or whatever in the studio and doing multiple takes of a vocal, all that kind of stuff. They might have just had a rehearsal of it, but they will have his voice because technology didn't exist to, for example, remove all the other sound that might be going on in a particular rehearsal or with a particular version of the song, they might just be working it out and the chords might be not quite there in the background, but the vocal's there. Now the technology exists to take that vocal away from everything else. So to give an example of what I mean, if you haven't seen my channel before or any analysis videos, I'm going to play my guitar and I'm just gonna sing a quick bit of probably a Beatles song. And I'm going to use the same technology to do what has been done. So for the people that are questioning the AI, and again, this is the confusing part, is that AI can be used to create a voice and even almost create a whole documentary. You, you tell the AI what you want it to talk about and it will do that. And it will take in all the information from the internet and give you a synopsis or a full documentary, if you want, of this particular subject matter, whatever you've chosen. So the reason that it's confusing is that people might think that the AI is in, in some way impersonating John Lennon, and that's the voice we've got, because it's a computer taking all of the vocals from John Lennon and doing its own version of that, and just telling which words it should be saying for the lyrical content of the song. But the point of this video is to show you the technology, what it does, and show you that it's not something that's been created. It already existed. To the example, I've got my guitar plugged in, 
and it's probably quite high in the mix but that's good because it's going to show you clearly what the technology does and what the AI does. So with this, if I go, when I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Hopefully you, you could hear <laughs> the microphone I assume we're still working. You could hear me singing and you could hear the guitar. So I've taken what I just did and put it through the AI, the isolating software, as I refer to it as in other videos, and you can see the result of it. So if I play through, what it has done is it separated my voice from the guitar. And it's very clever. And <laughs> this is just the advantages of technology nowadays and AI It's always learning. This is another thing to mention that the algorithm is always getting better at determining what is a human voice and what is an instrument. So the process is always improving. But if we listen to this, we can start listening to it. And then if I want to, I can take down the guitar. So let's have a listen. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. That is the same thing that I just did, but I've told the AI to now take just my voice. And, you know, if I want to, I can bring the guitar in and I can mix it how I want. So say, for example, I wanted more guitar, but not as much as was in the original mix. I can do this. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. And if I think, mm, actually, that vocal wasn't very good, so let's take it down in the mix and make the guitar nice and loud, uh, and listen to it like this. So you can hear how I've now brought my voice down, so now it's mostly guitar. Back to the point of this and the Beatles and the new song coming out. You can imagine that, you know, John might have been playing the song. He might have just been doing something like this, singing a vocal line, vocal melody close to a microphone. And they have that recording of his voice. So AI now can get rid of all the background noise and isolate his voice. Even if he was singing something and people were just clanging things in the background, equipment was getting moved here and there, that can be taken out. So let me now just play the vocal by itself. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. So now we have an audio file of John's vocal, in this case, uh, my vocal, but you can start to hear that in a studio setting, you can now do stuff to this. If I wanted to apply pitch correction to it, for example, uh, you know, if I thought, oh, a couple of notes were a little bit off, so I want to adjust those, I could do. And I'm really hoping that they don't overdo the pitch correction on the new release, even though I know it's more than likely going to be on there because everything has pitch correction on nowadays. But I mean, certainly the the Queen song that we um, had a look at recently, which was uh, Face It Alone, that had pitch correction on it as well. But it's because of the nature of the recording that you're looking at, because I'm sure that John's recording, he wasn't really focusing on pitch and trying to get it as accurate as possible. So it might be the case that we have some pitch correction on there, but hopefully not a lot because I think John would have been close with his vocal melodies anyway, even when he was just throwing ideas together. But what you can also do now that you've got this vocal is you can do things to it. You can apply EQ, you can apply reverb, you can apply delay. So again, to give you an example, I've now added some reverb to my voice and you'll be able to hear this. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. So you can hear that effect now on the voice. The important thing to point out as well is that this is my original voice. This is my vocal. It hasn't been created with AI. It's been extracted by AI in order to get what I was doing. 
So this is a really important point because people, when they're thinking about John Lennon's voice having been created by AI, that hasn't happened. It is John's voice. So we can just lay that rumor to rest that it's something that isn't real or wasn't him and they're just trying to manufacture something that didn't exist. So now just to take it to its final phase really because we've got the guitar and we've got the voice it means that with the voice I can add reverb I can add a bit of delay so I've done that to the vocal but I can also take the guitar and add some reverb to the guitar so that now it'll sound not totally different but it will sound a lot more produced because I've used AI to isolate things and once you've got things isolated you can then apply effects to them independently. So uh, this is now with delay added to the voice with reverb and reverb on the guitar. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. And you know, it might be the case that there's too much effect on it, but I am exaggerating it a little bit so that you can hear the difference between that performance when I did it here, which is a, just a dry vocal. That's what it's called when there's no effects on it because it was just as it was. But once you get things isolated, you can then start to manipulate them. And I'm not saying that the people that worked with John Lennon's original vocal and the vocal recording, it wouldn't have been of this quality. So they would have had a lot harder job than I have uh, because I'm very close to this mic and there's not loads of stuff going on in the background. The other thing to mention is about artifacts. So artifacts are things that are in the resulting audio file, like disturbance or loss of clarity. And like I said, this is always improving the AI technology, so artifacts are becoming less noticeable. But by isolating the vocal, it means that it's gone through a process. And this process is a destructive process, meaning that the quality of the vocal that you hear after the process isn't as good as when you first started. But, I mean, now it's minimal. If I listen, or if we listen to my voice and try and hear artifacts. I find myself in times of trouble. I'll tell you what, let me get rid of the effects. Mother Mary comes to me. That didn't get rid of the effects. Try again. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. And, I mean, it's barely noticeable. The only time that something does happen, I think it's because I'm singing a C and the guitar is playing a C. And that'll be my first finger on the first fret of the B string. That's the C that I'm singing. So it means that the AI is hearing a C being played by a guitar and my voice is singing a C as well. And it must be quite close because it sounds like it's blended the guitar and the voice together. Let's just have a listen to this last note again. B. Yeah, you can just hear my voice dip a little bit because of the sound of the guitar. So, I mean, you probably won't notice it unless you're listening through reference speakers and maybe you've got a studio set up like I've got. So you can just hear that happen. But even still, when we take it back to the beginning. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. You know, it's pretty good nowadays. The technology, the way that it can isolate the voice. And listening to that, it doesn't sound like there, there are loads of artifacts on my voice. I mean, you can hear them if you really listen out for them and listen to it in detail. The other thing to mention is that you know, pitch correction, auto-tune, some people say, oh, the reason that isolated vocals sound pitch cor corrected or auto-tuned is because of the artifacts of the isolating process. But I would argue that with this example, it doesn't sound like now suddenly I'm auto-tuned. It just sounds like suddenly I'm not playing the guitar anymore. So, you know, I don't really subscribe to that school of thought that 
artifacts make things sound auto-tuned. Because if somebody's singing out of tune and then you isolate it, it's still out of tune. The isolating process doesn't correct pitch. Anyway, I thought this would be a quick video, but it's probably gone on for a while because I wanted to explain AI and how it's been used in this particular case for the Beatles new song that they're releasing because the way that it was being reported on didn't say it like this so people might not understand how it's been used and what it's actually done. That's how it all works and I hope that that's helped to clear things up for you if you didn't really understand the whole AI thing and how John Lennon's voice is now possible to be heard. There you have it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, uh, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And let me know what you guys think as always in the comments section below and I'll catch you guys at the next one. Rock!